What are you making? A cat. That's awesome. We're going to 3D print that. Really? Absolutely. If you draw it, we can make it. Let's turn it into a real 3D model. Today, we're doing something seriously cool. And honestly, one of my favorite types of projects. My daughter sketched this cat, and we're going to turn it into a real 3D print. But not just that, we're also going to turn some of her clay sculptures into 3D prints. <laughs> Welcome back to Make or Build It. If you're new to 3D printing or 3D modeling, I'm Brian DeLuca and welcome to the 3D printing community. We're all about making and 3D printing, so now may be a great time to follow. Today I'm showing you how to take your children's drawings or their clay sculptures, or maybe even your own, and turn them into 3D prints. Now here's the thing with these projects, besides spending time with the most awesome people in your life, your children, projects like this aren't just fun, they're STEM in disguise. Kids learn creativity, problem solving, 3D thinking, and how to bring their ideas into the real world. Half the time they don't even realize they're learning, they think they're just making their own creations. Which we are. Today we're doing two things, turning her two-dimensional 3D drawing into a 3D model and a 3D print. Then also scanning one of her 3D clay sculptures and turning that into a 3D model and a 3D print also. So it's creativity, art, tech, 3D printing all wrapped into one. So let's get started. Let's turn this drawing into a 3D model. So once you're done with your drawing, all you need to do is take a photo of it or scan it on uh, your printer or a scanner. The reason why I like a printer or scanner is it doesn't create any shadows that you may get with trying to take a photo. Now, once it's scanned and in your system, you're just going to take the JPEG or a PNG and you're going to bring it over to Maker World uh, and you're going to go into Maker Labs and use their AI tool and just upload your image. Give it a few minutes and you'll get a nice 3D model. So once it generates the 3D model, you could download either the STL or the 3MF. The 3MF is just the version that has all the colors already mapped to it. And you see, you can assign your colors right in Maker World. Now you just import that right into your Bamboo Labs printer or you could download the file and load it on any other printer. We noticed the cat had an extra ear if you miss that uh, when we're rotating the model. So you could bring it into something like Nomad Sculpt and remove that ear, or you could even bring it into Blender and do the same thing. And we got our cat printed. He looks pretty good, almost like the original. We printed the one with the extra ear, and as you can see in the background, we have the one where we removed the ear. I didn't print it in full color yet because I want to see if it met my daughter's standards. Now let's turn this clay sculpture into a 3D model. So the way we're going to make this into a 3D model is you could scan it in two ways. One, you could use your iPhone and iPhone 12 Pro or better actually has LiDAR in it, which allows you to scan items in 3D. Now you may have to download an app to do this, but you're able to pretty much scan any item in. When you get into the iPhone 15 and 16s, you'll see you have a much better LiDAR uh, sensor in it, creating better three-dimensional images. Or you could use something like this, which is the Creality Ferret Pro to scan your item. I personally prefer using my 3D scanner, but I have access to that. If you don't, your iPhone should work just fine, and a lot of people start off 3D scanning with just their phones. Crowley Ferret Pro did a really good job at rendering uh, this 3D model. Then we're just going to bring it into our slicer, and we're going to paint it. And this only took a few minutes to get the painting right, but we're also only dealing with three colors. And we got this little gargoyle printed. And sitting next to the clay model, the 3D printed one looks really good and really similar. And there they are, her drawing turned into a real world 3D model and her sculpture turned into a 3D print. This is honestly one of my favorite parts about making. Stuff like this teaches them so much. Design, technology, spatial awareness, creativity, problem solving, and most important that their ideas matter. When a child is drawing something and they see it come to the real world, that's powerful. 
Projects like this spark curiosity, it's STEM, it's art, it's imagination, and it's ridiculously fun. And most important, you're spending quality time with your children. If you want to see us turn more ideas into 3D prints, leave your comments in the description below. For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making. <laughs>